Hey YouTube, I'm back. So, um, yesterday I was at Tractor Supply and I was looking at this here for a while, the Bug No More. Um, the last time I went, or I, I should rephrase that, uh, back around, oh, maybe a month ago, there was a sale on this stuff. And then I looked at it, I'm like, you know what? I might get that a little bit later, but I didn't buy that day. Then when I did go back, the prices increased. And I'm like, eh, I'll just wait for the next sale. So yesterday, I just went there again just to look around for fun. And I saw this, and they had, I wouldn't say a big of a sale, but they had a couple dollars off on this stuff. So I'm like, you know what? I'll get it now, and we'll see here. So it's the Bug No More by Gordon's. I have never used this product before uh, based off the reviews um, online. They have pretty good reviews. Now, there's not a whole lot out there about that, um, this product here. You, you really won't find, uh, from what I can see, uh, uh, YouTube videos, at least from my searches, um, about it and stuff. So I figured, hey, maybe I'll give it one and be one of the first ones up there on it. So uh, my zero turn, it has a little bit of gas in it, but I needed to get some more. So I got the premium stuff, which is, my goodness, expensive. Uh, I think I paid five seventy-eight per gallon. And then my wife's vehicle, uh, she told me she was on empty, so I had to fill that up. So easy way to spend a hundred bucks in a, uh, about a couple minutes. <laughs> but anyways, I'm taking a look at the forecast. It's a little cloudy out there. Uh, according to my app, it says no rain today. It looks like it could rain but it says no rain so i'm like you know what we don't trust the app so i went to the radar and there's just a few little specks around us so maybe it might be right i don't know so but i think today what i want to try to do is get this on the yard now uh this video is not going to have any results here at least as of the time i'm recording this here i think what i'll do is i'll throw this up first make a part one and part two of everything um I just kind of more or less is uh, doing it for content on YouTube at the moment until I get some more videos up there for everybody I'll be watching. And then maybe what I'll do is record everything and put it up in one video. Uh, I know people like that. I like it that way too. But just for right now, there's not a whole lot of videos on there. So I just want to try to get some content there and get the stuff going as fast as I can for people to watch. Hey. Yep. Recording. So... <laughs> Uh, also, if you see weeds in my yard, I am purposely letting them grow. That's right, because I have some other stuff. I want to do videos later down the road, so I'm kind of getting this all set. So that's why you're seeing weeds there. So you're like, hey, didn't you just do a 2,4-D? Yes, I did. But I purposely did not spray this stuff because I have other stuff I want to hit up with it for another video. So, so I got some stuff in the works. Uh, wife is telling me it is time for breakfast. So I gotta go, I'll eat, and then later today we'll, we'll lay this stuff down if the weather um, uh, is reasonable with us here. If it does rain or stuff, I may have to put it off, but based off what I know as of right now, there is nothing coming, so I will be back. Okay, so I'm back here. I don't know what's going on with the weather. Honestly, I looked at the uh, forecast here. It still says no rain. It's been cloudy all day. Um, I looked at the radar and there's not like a lot going on. I think at worst scenario, it may sprinkle a little bit, but honestly, I've been thinking of that for the past couple hours and it has done nothing. So you know what? We're just going to go for it. It is what it is. So I did buy this tool. Um, it's meant to mix paint and stuff. You can use it for chemicals too. It's about, I don't know, maybe three feet long, hook up to a drill. And I did pour the chemicals and water. I got that all set in there. So what I'm going to do is put this inside. And we're just going to mix it slowly here. Basically, you just want to mix everything really good. So um, that way it's all consistent for you. So what I was doing before, I would pour like half the water in, put the chemicals in, spray the other water. And then what I would do is just go like, forward fast stop forward fast stop to mix up the chemicals and i'm like you know what probably still not the best way so 
went to Menards, bought one of these. I think it was like maybe $5. It's pretty cheap. And just want to mix that chemicals in. Now, once again, this is the uh, uh, Bug No More, I think. Yeah, Bug No More. Sorry, I'm kind of like doing a bunch of things at once here. So Bug No More. And actually, this is working pretty good. Get that all nice mixed in there. So you just don't want to sit forever and set to the bottom. You want to be pretty consistent doing it out. So I want to have to put this down here. Maybe I could do it with one hand. I don't know. I don't think I want to. Nope, got to put this down here. Let's see if we can do this. So this is one of the... Oh, come on. There we go. Got it, got it off. <clears throat> this is one of the fun things I need to get a stand for my phone. So when I'm showing you guys this, it's going to be a lot easier. Ugh. So it's just this thing right here. So I'll go ahead and put this to the side for now. Okay, so back to this. So we'll put the cover back on. And the last time I showed you for the T4D, I kind of showed you about the boom and the settings and all that good stuff. Also, I forgot to mention, I do have the sprayer. So, um, you can use the boom and the sprayer at once, or back there you can set it to just use the sprayer. So, what I typically do with the yard is I'll go around the whole yard, get everything, and I'll get against the house. I'll get around the trees, plants, and all that. The one issue we're having right now is with the wasps. Um, around the uh, children's playground, they just love building nests all around there and stuff. I just don't want any of them get stung or anything like that. Um, there's different kinds that we have around here. I think they're yellow jackets is one, which I don't see a whole lot of that this year. Like two, three years ago, we saw a bunch of them. Then we have the black ones. And then we have the mud wasps, I guess they're called. They're like black and blue, which I don't see a whole lot of those this year either. And I think honestly, those are probably one of the harder ones to get rid of the mud wasps, but they're not as aggressive as like the yellow jackets. And that's what concerns me the most. Um, Obviously, we don't want our kids to get stunned or anything like that. So what I want to do is just go spray the whole jungle gym, get everything like that all sprayed down and everything. Um, they say basically spray the nest and all that. And then I don't know 100%. I got to read the instruction. This is so all new. But typically when I spray, uh, you're going to see re results pretty quickly, um, maybe almost instantly. But it's not going to be 100%. Maybe start at like... 50 or 60 percent and within three days or so that's when uh it's more of officially all ready to go we're activated and working at 100 percent so um so with the bigger insects typically it takes just a little bit longer to kill them whereas something a lot smaller it'll, it'll kill them relatively pretty quickly so we're going to go ahead and spray this i was going to have my somebody come out and record me spray i mean this once again some things that i can maybe purchase in the future like a stand or something and all that but i want to go ahead and spray it and i might do just a short clip after it's all done uh and sprayed and then i'll post that on youtube and then what we'll do here is i'll give it maybe three days to a week somewhere in that time frame and i'm going to let you know the results now one way i want to let you know the results because um, is by this bug zapper here. <laughs> this will kind of be an indicator. So here it is. Yes, it's full of stuff. Maybe what I'll do is I'll blow this all off. Um, I bl that's all from this year. Uh, by the way, if you guys want a bug zapper, Floatron uh, off of Amazon, they are amazing. What you want to do is get one with a little bit bigger grooves in here. So like larger insects can go in there and get fried. Uh, there's the ones at Menards, but what I found is like a uh, black flag, I think it was called, what I bought first. These grooves or these holes were a lot thinner and the larger insects were having issues and they couldn't get in and get zapped. And so like, I felt like it wasn't killing. I got one of these and 
uh, let's just put it this way, it takes care of the problem and the birds get a free meal down there at the end of the day. So, uh, <laughs> I was uh, um, seeing a ton of birds down here. I'm like, what in the world? And all of a sudden it makes sense. What they do is they get zapped there, when they'll come, they'll fall down to the ground and they'll just eat them up and they get a free meal of it. So, so yeah, but anyways, what I'll do is I'll probably just blow this off. Now I think about that, that'd be a great idea. And we can come back and I don't know if anything will stick like that, like crazy or whatnot within that short period of time, but I can just let you know what I'm observing. If there's appears to be uh, um, a lot of zapping going on or if that lesson um, quite a bit. So I know there's another product, which I'm going to do at my parents' house later uh, this week or attempt to do later this week. And all I know is we came out like five, six o'clock here and no bugs on our property whatsoever. Like it just, I mean, it probably was a few, but like none that we can notice. And across the street there, we looked up in the air and the light was shining just right. And we could just see swarms of insects over there. Just, I mean, a crazy amount. So I know the previous stuff, and that's why I don't want to give away yet until I do my parents' house. Well, I'll show you all about that. Um, but there was definitely a huge difference. And it was a point, you know, like starting at 5.30, 5, 5.30 o'clock, it, it was just so uncomfortable coming out here and standing. I mean, you just get bit left and right with mosquitoes and everything, and it was pretty frustrating. So, but anyways, uh, let me go ahead. I'll go ahead and spray this. Uh, we'll get the whole yard sprayed. I'll probably do a quick rundown maybe after this, and then I'll post it on YouTube, wait a couple days to a week and post what uh, my results or findings are with this new product. So thank you guys, appreciate you, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So I sprayed the whole yard. Um, and right now what we're going to do, just we're, with where I'm at with everything, we're going to clean out this tank. Um, <clears throat> so yes, this is the Farmworks liquid tank cleaner. If you look on, the side here they have the ounces so it's one ounce per gallon to clean it i want to make this pretty short i know it's not that interesting but it might help somebody so i'm just going to spray some in here and we'll get a visual uh it is almost 24. i think i'm going to do about three ounces and there's 24. That's close enough. So there's about three ounces in there now. And then I want to fill it with that, uh, with water uh, for three gallons. On this in particular sprayer, don't get me wrong, it's a very good sprayer. The only thing that I really criticize is where they put this hose at the bottom. So it sucks it up there, brings it up, and shoots out of the boom. I wish, I wish they went underneath instead of having like a trough that comes to it because what happens is there's always a little left over and it will not come out on a flat surface. You have to unhook it from your uh, lawnmower. And what I do is I still have it attached for the power then I lift it up maybe, I don't know, a foot or so. So it has more of a tilt, then it eventually comes out here and I can empty it out. I, I don't know, I, I, from what I've seen, I really haven't seen any that do it from straight underneath, but that would help so much to get make sure you're getting full utilization of all these chemicals so uh, a lot of times when i'm uh pouring i may just put just a hair bit more just a kind of calculate for that uh with the property and all that so all i'm going to do now is just fill that with three gallons turn it on let it spray out clean itself and all that i know it's not that interesting but i thought i would just give you an update uh, once i'm done with all that i'll probably put everything away and then kind of give my thoughts and all that at the end here of what was all done today. Okay, so this is the cleaner that I'm pouring in. As you can see, I put uh, three gallons in it. It's the foam that you're seeing is just the reaction or whatever's inside that cleaner there. It's not anything bad there. Uh, <clears throat> anyways, let's do it this way. What's nice about this cleaner uh, is that it actually lubricates your hoses too. 
So that's another reason why I didn't want to do Dawn just so because it dries everything out. And here's the hose I was talking about earlier. So what I just do is I just, <clears throat> you're supposed to use this till all the foam's out. Um, once you see no foam, then you're good to go. Uh, so I kind of go back and forth with here. I'll get pretty good because you don't want those chemicals in there and all that. And, you know, not only will it corrode things, you know, just complications on you want to take care of your equipment. Um, so what's cool is when I use this, it's also doing the boom. So it's like a two for one and it also gets rid of the liquid in the tank a lot faster. So with three gallons, it can go pretty quick by doing this. And uh, if there's still a lot of foam in afterwards, what I'll do is I'll just keep on putting water in, you know, maybe another three gallons or so. You know, I'll just keep on doing it till it's all gone and then basically just put it away. So, okay guys, I'm back. So I'm a little hot and sweaty right now. I guess I'll put everything away and do everything here. But as you can see, there's the aftermath. But uh, let's go back here. <clears throat> what I did is I uh, blew the bug zapper out. I wouldn't say it's perfect. There's maybe a few bugs that are still sticking in there, but overall it's a whole lot cleaner what, than what it was. So like I said, um, this isn't like a controlled experiment. It's just more of a rough idea what we're dealing with here uh, with all this, uh, the chemicals we uh, sprayed today with that. Um, uh, bug no more so but let's go ahead i'll bring you back in the backyard so we'll walk over here and i'll kind of show you so here's our kids playground and this is where all the wasps were now i don't know if you can see that there's one there's a bee there. There was one black wasp uh, flying around, but I have found nest underneath, underneath here, inside, and there's one right up. Oh, let's see, right up in there. Uh, right up in there. I don't know. If if you can see that or not but no matter i didn't really ever spray it real thoroughly i mean don't get me get wrong i sprayed it and got it. but this time i drenched it and i'm like we'll see if this stuff works so um and then on top of that then you go to my shed and i, I haven't really seen wasps but they were always flying around and I'm always afraid they're going to get inside and build their nests and all that. So I sprayed in there really good too. So um, we're going to see if this stuff today worked. Uh, we'll have to get some time and everything like that. But from when I was spraying, um, it definitely did look like they were trying to get away from it. Uh, the other chemicals I sprayed, I feel like they were... A little bit more aggressive in getting away but neither uh but both of them they still were trying to fly away and all that uh the wasp i sprayed some nests i know around the house on the house and they were flying out there real fast in fact i was trying to run away so they wouldn't see me i don't even think they cared that i was there they were just trying to get away from the chemicals so um it, it this uh it has a little bit of a smell to it. I wouldn't say it's like super strong, but it's definitely noticeable. Um, and I don't know. I basically, we're just going to have to give it some time and see how this works. I'm, I'm hoping it does. Um, I, I've never used it before, so it's, it's hard to say, well, if you do this, this will happen, whatever. This is literally my first time ever spraying this. I sprayed it all against the house, under the trees, and the plants, jungle gym shed. I broadcast all over the yard. So, um, I mean, we're giving it a fair shot here. You see, uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to do this one, I, I guess was uh, a lot to do with the price point. It, it's a lot cheaper than I think what a lot of these other ones are. Um, the one that we're gonna be using 
Saturday, I think runs right around 40, 40 some dollars for like a, I, I believe it's a, don't quote me on this, but I think it's a 32 ounce or 36 ounce, somewhere in that round. And with this one, I paid, oh, I believe it was $24 for a one gallon. And it, um, on the instructions, it said, depending on what kind of pest you're trying to get rid of, it says use between one and 15 ounces. So uh, as far as the 15 ounces, those were a lot more aggressive of bugs. Um, I, I don't remember what, exactly which ones they were, but they're, they're the hard ones to get rid of anyway. So regardless of which product, I believe, for the most part, you're going to have to up it to get rid of it. But what I'm looking more for just general broadcasts over the yard, just a... Uh, maintenance or you know a couple times a year it's not that you're really looking to do termites or something on those lines it's just more of i'm gonna get rid of mosquitoes and bugs and earwigs and all that stuff just try to prevent stuff from building up and be a nuisance the whole season so um but yeah we'll we'll give this a shot see how it goes like i said i'm not going to know i don't think i'm going to honestly know in three days how this works it's one of those you're going to have to give it some time but we'll come back to the bug zapper uh grand if we do have a lot of wind though <laughs> once again um it's going to fall down the ground and i know with the stuff i blew with the blower uh the birds are going to be very full tonight so uh but we'll use this the best we can i'll kind of keep you updated uh what i personally seen um i do see insects run across the driveway uh, they're running away, some of them. And the only downside is that I, I did spray earlier this year. And so that may have eliminated a lot of insects too um, in the spring. So I think it's been uh, anywhere from six weeks to uh, two months since I last sprayed though. So it's been a decent amount of time. And so, but we'll see how this goes. I, I'm crossing my fingers because if this works, it's it's cheaper and uh, uh, you can do a lot more uh, times and everything and save some money here. So, crossing my fingers. I really hope it works and uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Thank you.